welcome back to today's video. Today we will be looking at the uh, ideas, well not so much ideas, but the things that were wrong with NASCAR Heat Evolution 1 from launch that I hope are resolved in NASCAR Heat Evolution 2. Now a lot of these stuff are removed features. I don't quite know what went through their mind but it feels like their way of standing out from their predecessors was what will remove even more which like I, I've stated this before it feels like NASCAR games each one is worse than the one before like man I really missed the last one and then the next one comes out like damn I really missed that that previous one was at least it didn't suck this bad and the, like this is absolutely no exception hopefully NASCAR Heat Evolution 2 will be an exception but I'm not gonna hold my breath since we're only a few months out and both trailers dealing with the game were real world footage no in-game footage and by this point they should have it should be in the late alpha stage so they should definitely have some sort of footage to be showing with this stuff now the first thing on my list is custom paint schemes I could be cynical and say well they took away custom paint schemes because of the uh, they make mo they don't make money off those they make money selling you those paint schemes instead of making them and with that I'd argue well yeah you make money off it but not everybody can completely replicate that paint scheme so that you still like if people want it they're still gonna buy it especially since in the last game custom paint scheme well no wait, never mind custom paint scheme did show it was a package saying that's what turned people off in the previous one was the only way that someone else is gonna see your paint scheme if you're using a bought paint scheme is that they own that paint scheme that was wrong with the paint those paint schemes like there was incentive to try doing your best to replicate it because not everybody buys them. So, my deal, like with this game, except for the uh, 2017 update, I didn't buy any packages. I, got, I took advantage of the free stuff. I didn't buy any of them that I can recall. And, but let's say, say they're trying to be precautious and. Like Call of Duty, you see emblem people when they're able to create their own emblem, you're gonna find some adult content. And yeah, I've seen in in previous NASCAR games in public lobby some questionable designs on the car. But Call of Duty also has a uh, system in place where you can report an image. And which I believe, if I'm understanding correctly, they look at and they determine whether it's inappropriate or not. And a similar one could be implemented. Like, so that way you don't, like, sure, you're going to get people trying to report for nonsense. But you're going to get some legitimate reports and it can be handled as such. So custom paint schemes are a cool aspect of the game. Like, especially in the career mode where instead of like well like this one it's here's your design you either like it or you don't whereas the last one is like okay you're not you're not going for this design you're going for the sponsor and you can paint your paint scheme to suit that sponsor so i'd love to see custom paint schemes back sure they wouldn't be able to do the 40 plus 40 player servers and I can't attest to if they work or not because I haven't played multiplayer yet, especially not a full 40 thing. But I'm pretty sure it's the not custom paint schemes that are the issue. It's laggy connection that be the issue. So, like, knock back, uh, knock it back some if you're worried about that aspect of it. Now on to number two, it's the ability to remap the control scheme. And when my wheel cut out in Talladega, I tried switching the controller. But as soon as the first caution wave, 
I was up a creek because on the controller there is no clutch map to it and as far as I can tell you're not allowed to remap the controls and I know there are plenty of people that want to remap the controls because not everybody plays it the same exact way so you may want something in a different spot because that's what suits you and taking away the ability to remap the controls seems very foolish especially since there's stuff missing from the controls like the whole d-pad is of absolutely no use as far as i know nothing is mapped to it not even the clutch so it's just like you got an option to switch a clutch there should be a clutch in all scenarios type deal now the uh next issue that i have is improved game mode difficulties now what i mean by this is give us back to variety because right now we have easy and hard at least in the career mode like i know i did when i did the last week's race there was an auto thing i don't know how that plays in but going with the career mode that i've been playing with from the beginning on these videos it's easy or hard and really it feels like they're the same game mode it's just a matter of how far that rubber band stretches and yeah i know easy mode in the previous game was a cakewalk even like short races like this it's not hard even on a track this size to just lap them continuously type deal like you can put the whole field a lap down in about 20 laps i get that's too easy but there are people that don't want to play that and like it's, there should be more of a choice is what i'm getting at no on to the next one is to the ability to kill the car and by this i mean like Slow down. Yeah, when you hit the that the line. wall and it's not to kill the car it should kill the car like the, i know uh, the previous games there would be smoke and or fire and like you, your car was done that was the end of the race you killed if the car would have been killed in an actual race it was hard enough to kill it then it should be dead but on this game it just weakens the engine but you can still get back around and do basically what equates to a pit road engine swap is all i can think of because as, as soon as you go on to repair all you're back out you're all set to go and i don't like that aspect like i liked like it, it sucked yes it sucked that when you hurt the car that bad that you couldn't really fix it but i like that it was a case of you're only allowed to fix it just so far before like each time like that that was a pretty cool aspect of it and like it sucks that they completely and utterly took it out especially since they have been working to improve the damage model on the cars now the final thing i'd like to see is shredded tires and this one like this will this kind of ties in with next week's which is suggestions but by this i mean like if you played nascar 2011 the game you got a flat tire sure on the track it looked like a scruff tire and but when you went down to pits it was shredded off like you saw the rim with little bits of the tires on it and that's all that was left i like that aspect of it like it should look like it the tires gone like when i go to, on this one i can i can ride around the wall the whole way around until they're flat I go in that pit, and I'm pretty sure that if you look at that animation, Goodyear is still written on that sidewall, and that to me just it's just well, where's like you're trying to do simulator, but you can't simulate even that, let alone a blown tire. Because like I've done videos where I've shown like I can you can kind of see when the tire, especially in the interior camera. Uh, say I blow the front right you can kind of see when it blows that front right sags down but then when you're in this view right here 
and you spin the car with a flat tire, it doesn't look flat. It looks fine. So they got to like they got to do that. And I it well actually well, I wasn't the final, but it, just, it reminded me of something I was thinking that I forgot to write down. But to add on to that, I'd like to see that like them go back to that 2011 model and get that so they join that but also make it more realistic when it shreds like if you're at a super speedway well it shreds up but there's that inner liner there and if it's like say a slower track but you don't like the caution does come out and you have to limp back to the pits if you're going fast enough where the tire breaks off in the wall it should break off like it does in the wall and it should start flailing and rip that side panel off like I know this is asking a lot, but the the market has so many racing simulators out there that are pushing the boundaries of what can be done in a racing game. Yeah, I don't know if any have done quite that much, but they're definitely pushing it. And I, I don't want to see NASCAR games continually fall onto that, well it's a NASCAR game so people should, will buy it mentality. They should be programming this game so that way, even if it didn't say NASCAR, like people would still be buying this game because it's a good game. Like that, that's what I want to see. Like I want to see a NASCAR game that these people can be proud of. Like it's not, well, it's NASCAR. It should be like, instead of being like, hey, it's NASCAR and it's a sequel to our, that last year's game. It's like, it's Heat Evolution 2 and by the way, it's a NASCAR game. Like, people should be like, wow, it's NASCAR, it's, like, it's Heat Evolution 2, dude. Have you heard about Heat Evolution 2 or not? Dude, they got another NASCAR game coming out. Like, because it feels like the weight is on NASCAR. And when you put weight on NASCAR, you start to slip on quality. And, like I, like I said, I don't want to see this happen, but take movie games. They weigh heavily on what their source material is and they don't focus really on the gameplay and the game suffers because of that and I don't want to see NASCAR games suffer because of that like I love playing NASCAR games and I want them to improve not feel like they keep getting worse and worse so like I don't want this to be like oh man doesn't want the NASCAR game I want a NASCAR game I just want the best NASCAR game that we can get like I just want want it to be something amazing that non-NASCAR players can get into because the gaming community is massive and they're not all NASCAR fans. You throw, like, throw, keep throwing stuff like this out, you're not going to get the racing simulators in because they're going to be playing something else. There are plenty of games that have NASCAR as an afterthought that I feel are doing better than this NASCAR game did. All clear. And it shouldn't be that way. You should be drawing them in because you get them to play, they may start watching the races, and that should be the mentality behind it. So I don't want to take it as a negative, I want to take it as trying to help improve the game. And I'm sure there's stuff that I missed out of the past few games that were moved from this game. If you can think of anything that I didn't add, then comment down below. And if you like the changes I suggested, please hit that like button and maybe someone at the company will see it. And Maybe they'll listen to at least one or two of my suggestions in one of the three videos. But this is all the time I have for for the recording audio and to, that's the last of this segment of this. But I hope you guys did enjoy watching this and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is another Grand Theft Auto video. I hope you guys like the races and I believe there's three of them that I've got already recorded for that. So I'll see you then. Until next time.